Joining me now is Dr. William Schaffner. He's a professor of infectious diseases at Vanderbilt University's School of Medicine. Uh, Dr. Schaffner, thank you for being with us. Let's start with Guterres' visit, the UN chief now there. How important is a visit of that level, at least in drawing attention to this, but also in helping it? So obviously, Roy, a visit is not a tourist visit. The, uh, the Secretary General is going to come with an agenda, and he will be speaking to both the political leadership as well as the public health and the, uh, the clinicians there caring for patients. And he will want to make sure, first of all, that the public health people and the clinicians, the hospital workers, have the appropriate security so that they can do their job. And how is he coordinating on behalf of the international community with, let's say, other organizations like the World Health Organization? I think he will coordinate with them. He will be speaking for them. And he'll be talking with the political leadership of uh, the Congo to try to provide both that security and if there are any differences of opinion about strategy as to how to approach the outbreak to kind of smooth those troubled waters. He comes now as that mark has been reached of 2,000 now dead. What are some of the challenges that medical teams are facing there? Well, I, I would frankly say security is the most. If there were better security, there would be more health care workers there. The public health people have to go out into the community, find those who are sick, and bring them to treatment. We have better treatments now. That's good news. And then, of course, the public health people are out doing vaccinations because we have not just one but two vaccines that can be used that have been shown to be effective in preventing Ebola. And now there's also been effective medicine uh, introduced. How is that proving? Is it uh, becoming successful and accepted? I understand there's been uh, some mistrust there of the medical workers in the community. Well, surely any external people there have been regarded with some suspicion because this has been an area of political turbulence and there have been all kinds of false rumors spread. But as you say, Roy, there are new medications, new treatments that we can actually fight the Ebola virus itself. And so that will make the, the, the effectiveness of the healthcare community, the hospitals there, much more effective and I think will build confidence in the populace. This is now the second worst uh, Ebola epidemic. Did we learn anything from the first one that's uh, being used this time around or helping out at least? <laughs> Roy, we've learned a lot. And the most important thing is to reach out to the populace, get their leaders to express confidence in the medical and public health teams, and so gain acceptance. Introducing modern medical care into the environment uh, that's local, into the local cultural environment. And as you can imagine, in this area of political turbulence and violence, that's very challenging. People following this around the world often think that's something happening over there, but with something like <laughs> Ebola, it can quickly spread. I remember being in, in Spain when it reached nurses uh, there. Uh, what should people at home be doing if they're concerned, and how might they actually be helping, be able to help this situation in Congo? Well, we at a distance can watch this, and anything we can do to support uh, in, in what we think and what we say, the activities of the CDC, the World Health Organization, Médecins Sans Frontières, everybody there working. At the moment, this outbreak is sufficiently remote that there is not an immediate danger of the transmission of Ebola to other countries except locally. So all of the attention is directed at trying to curtail this outbreak at its source. Dr. William Schaffner from uh, Vanderbilt University, thank you for joining us.